Engineer775 here with a cool gadget. Some of you might have seen this as it been on Facebook and all over the place. It's called a Gotenna. It's a pretty nifty device. I'm going to talk to you about it and its possible uses. It has some limitations, but it has some cool features as well. And I tested this out, this concept out on my kids. You know, I have four children and I'm thinking of ways that if there was a crisis situation, um, there was power outages and I needed to find them or locate them or they needed to find me, what ways could they do that? Well, you know, I tried the, the old ham radio, MERS radio concept with that and just get a teenage girl to um, want to carry one of these around, is, it ain't going to happen. So what I ended up finding in this is a neat way. I showed this to them and they thought, oh, that's, they like the colors, there's purple, there's orange. And so there's a pretty neat looking gadget. And let me tell you about what it does, what it is. It is basically a MERS radio. I have the same frequencies programmed into this MERS radio that are in here. The MERS radio frequencies, there's five of them. And so what this allows me to do is basically tether my phone, connect my phone to this antenna, which is really a radio, through Bluetooth. And there's an app, I don't know if you can see the app on here, it's the Gotenna, Gotenna app, and I'm actually currently connected to the Gotenna that is on my bug out bag. As most people know, Bluetooth, you get about 25 feet away, so I can connect to this. You're not supposed to really hold these in your hand, it's better, they perform better as an antenna, not touching your body. And so, right now my app's telling me the, the battery uh, condition of my Gotenna, and it allows me to do several things. What does it allow me to do? Well, I can send out, and this is gonna be hard to see, there's three ways to send messages. There's an emergency um, shout that'll keep sending a signal out. Say I'm in a tree stand and I fall out of my tree stand and I'm um, able to send a message but I'm not able to move. Um, I can, it, you know, basically put out an emergency shout out on the MERS frequency hoping somebody will pick it up. I can also, um, which we've been doing, is chatting one one to one, um, and I'll show you some of the things we did here coming up at different locations. So you basically, what you can do is text. You can text um, just like it looks like a texting screen where I'm sending locations and text messages back and forth between myself and the other person who has a Gotenna. And you can have as many people with as many Gotennas as possible. So what this thing allows me to do when the grid is down, there's no power, no cell service, is actually send text messages and locations using the GPS of your phone, because that's gonna work regardless of cell tower uh, functionality. So the Gotennas will talk to each other. Now, how far will they go? This is kind of the limitation of the device. Uh, line of sight, four miles. But any terrain, we've tested it around here to be right at a mile, but pretty effective at a mile. So think of yourself, maybe you're in an amusement park, Disney World with your kids and power goes out, a cruise ship, uh, some large venue, a concert, and you want to locate your buddies, your friends. Maybe you're hiking, maybe you're mountain biking, hunting. I can think of a lot of scenarios would be pretty neat to let somebody know that you're hurt, uh, where your location is, and they can come find you or vice versa, you can find them. And so because it's on your phone, I find this a much easier sell with my kids that I can give them a Gotenna. They already got the phone, they just gotta download the app and to work with it. So we have found them to be very successfully, to be very successful at communicating locations. And so it pulls up, a, actually pulls up a map. There's maps you download. And um, so it's loading the map and it's giving me the location, the little red dot showing me the location of where the other Gotenna is. And uh, so very finding it very effective. Now this is 46 miles because this is a test we did the other day. They don't work at that range. But um, so if you saw that on my phone, that is not how far away they work. So we're in the mountains getting about a mile. Um, but that could be very handy. So you think of the scenarios you could use these at. You know, if you needed to find a child in a school and they could tether and, and just sh shout out their location, you could find their exact location very easily using this. So it's just another uh, preparedness device uh, uh, in disasters. This was actually invented um, by people uh, in New York City when the they went through Hurricane Sandy. They were not, people that weren't able to communicate with loved ones, couldn't find people, and it was pretty serious. That's why this was invented. So they could basically cover that entire city and find each other with the Gotenna. Again, 
getting to a high location, doing line of sight is going to be much, going to definitely increase the performance of the Gotenna. So anyway, I bought a couple of these, wanting to do this video review, thought it was a great uh, gizmo. It's a very well built product. Um, it, it, for me, it charges with the same charger as my phone. So if you have a method to charge um, USB uh, devices or lithium ion batteries, um, then you should have that. And I had that in my bug out bag, whether it's a hand crank generator or or the, um, the power pot is my, one of my favorites. So as long as you can keep these going, and the, I have the RAV power solar panel that can keep them going. So we're gonna show you a couple, um, how we used it in a couple uh, scenes here coming up. And I think that's about it. I think we covered it all. Very nice packaging, comes with its own charging cables. And anyway, no, I'm not selling these things. Just thought it was a cool thing. Uh, to share because I can't get my kids to carry a ham radio around with them. Um, that's just that's just the nature of, of it. So, all right, this is Engineer Seven Seven Five signing out. All right, so we're doing a quick little test of the Gotenna. As you can see, I got my got my Gotenna here on my car, just kind of propped up like that. And now we're gonna go on the app, and the app is connected via Bluetooth. As you can see on the right. I'm talking to Scott, and as you can see, I've sent him a few tests. We're about 0.8 miles away from each other, and I sent my location and everything. It works pretty good. So we're on Bluetooth and airplane mode, so there's no outside communication whatsoever. So just the GoTenna. Okay, we continue to play around with the GoTennas and do a little test here, testing location. So if you want to look at our phones. We're going to send a location of where the one go tenant is to the other phone. So let's go ahead and do that. Did you already send it? Yep. All right. So to see where my buddy is with his go tenant, it's loading the map. I don't know. I hope you can see it. But it's telling me his location. And we can kind of zoom in. We can see the roads. And so I know exactly where he is. Oh, he's at the corner of Creekside and McIntyre. And so it shows zero miles because we're in the truck together, but we've done some testing in, uh, depending on the terrain, a good mile uh, reach between the go tennis. So that's how you send the location. So you can send locations to find, find each other, find friends, find your kids, or you can just send a text message and, um, you know, I can send it back to his, here I am. And I'm going to send location, attach my location with a message. And then I'm going to send it, and if it gets, you can see, so basically it comes up on his phone, and it said, here I am, and it'll show the location of my, so a pretty cool test, um, can send locations, text messages pretty easily once you're in range. We're in airplane mode to test this. All right.